are you using data flows or are you planning to use data flows then you've got to watch this video because i've made a mistake that i'm hoping it will prevent you from making the same and completely destroying the refresh capabilities of data flows i know so let's get started i'm going to show you the nightmare and how i managed to do that okay so here's the thing i made a video last year for you guys on how to create a data flow storage that you can connect to your data flow. So instead of using the Microsoft Power BI common one, you can create your own and store your data there. Awesome. I told you in that video that once you create this storage, you cannot change it. Well, once you connect the storage to Power BI to be exact, you cannot change it. And when I read that, I thought that they meant that I cannot change it, but they could change it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's not the case. Here's the thing. You can see it in the video clearly. I am doing that on a you go counter because the other account, the other one was maxed out. And uh, when the mother was over, deleted it, gone, all the data is gone. So now I was going to create a proof of concept for a data flow on my tenant. And I could, for the love of me, not refresh that data flow. It says that it could not connect to an Azure blob uh, storage. And you're like, oh, maybe it's trying to connect to the data flow storage that I created on that video, which is in here, right? You go to the uh, admin portal and then data flow settings and here you see. And this doesn't exist anymore. So I contact Microsoft support and I ask them and say, guys, can you guys change it? Because I know that I can't. And they told me, uh, it says on the docs that you can't. <laughs> like, uh, I know, I know. And I, no, they can't. So they told me, like, disable it. Like, I have disabled it. And then it will revert back to the common Power BI, you know, the one that Microsoft offers by default if you don't configure your own. Still not refreshing. So I'm guessing that it just doesn't change. Once you have it once, it just doesn't change and they don't, they tell me that it's not fixable for now, for now, obviously. So I don't have any, I have data flows, but I cannot refresh them. Okay. So let's hope that the mistake I made, I made it to help you not make the same mistakes. Okay. Because for me, it's not so important to have data flows. I can do it on my customer's tenant. For you, probably the story is totally different. Hope that it helps. I'll see you again on Friday. Stay awesome and bye bye.